Uh, what do you say to a friend when they have a traffic accident or something bad happens? You usually say, well, it could have been worse, and that makes them feel better. Well, this leads us into another self-deception strategy that, that people often use. They choose whom to compare themselves to, and they choose very selectively and strategically. Typically, they'll compare themselves to others that are similar but a little bit worse off than themselves. Uh, early study did research on women who had had breast cancer. Now, there are different levels of the severity of breast cancer. You can have a small lump removed, or you can lose a whole breast, you can lose both breasts, and so on. Uh, and they found that each level of severity, the women mainly compared themselves to the women at the next level down, the ones who were worse off. This would come up over and over in their conversations. They, at least I didn't lose both my breasts, things like that. Uh, so people make themselves better through this, what's called downward comparison. They do this a lot. You can convince yourself you're doing pretty well uh, just by choosing to compare yourself to the right people who are uh, a little worse than yourself. Other mental strategies include false consensus and false uniqueness. Now these both have to do uh, with how many people are the same as you. False consensus is when you overestimate how many other people are the same as you. False uniqueness is underestimating how many people are the same as you. Now these two may sound like opposites, and I suppose they are, uh, but people use them in a very judicious way to protect their self-esteem. People use false consensus with opinions. So they might say, pretty much a lot of people agree with me. It doesn't matter where you are in the political spectrum, liberal, conservative, in, in the middle. You tend to hang out more with people who agree with you, have similar opinions to yourself. And so people tend to think, yeah, lots of people agree with me. Everything, everyone looks at the things the way I do. And that convinces you that your opinions are probably right since uh, people agree with you. Now with abilities, that's the other way around. There you go for the false uniqueness effect. You say, I can play the piano. Not that many people play the piano, so my ability makes me special. In both of these, in other words, you can make yourself feel better than others, even if you recognize exactly where you stand, simply by distorting how similar you are to other people. Uh, and people with high self-esteem do this more than people with low self-esteem, so this is one of the factors uh, that we think contributes to their high self-esteem. Uh, people with high self-esteem aren't really any better in general than other people. They aren't any smarter, more beautiful, or anything. Uh, they just think they are. And so strategies like these enable them to set themselves apart and reassure themselves that they uh, really are terrific. So uh, there are a few techniques that people use to sustain uh, positive illusions of ourselves. Uh, I'll just mention one more. People measure success or abilities using different criteria. For example, if we asked you, what makes you a good relationship partner? You might say, well, I'm a good listener, or I'm a good talker, or I'm good in bed, or I'm good at holding my tongue. You could think of a lot of different things that might make you a good relationship partner. It's easy to see how many of us could think we are better than average because most of us could find something to focus on uh, or emphasize. In other words, we humans have slippery definitions of success. My favorite summary of the strategy was in a book uh, where the author said, uh, well, this strategy is how every child thinks that their dog is the best dog on the street. Because uh, there are all these different dogs, and dogs have different qualities, and each kid can point to something about their dog that is really special uh, and cool. So people inflate their positive views of themselves, fooling themselves, using these different self-deception strategies.